Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on GMAPS TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming in for the first time. Very regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may well see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, we just learned that Nelson Chamisa, the leader of Zimbabwe's opposition party, the Citizens Coalition for Change, has stated that he would rather engage with Sanu PF than Sengezo Chavangu whom he referred to as a Sanu PF puppet. Chavangu, who claims to be the interim secretary general of Triple C, has recalled several Triple C MPs and threatened to recall even more. Chamisa and other Triple C officials argue that Chavangu is not a member and that the Triple C does not have a secretary general position as claimed by him. According to law, expects what Chavangu actually did was to beat Triple C at their own game after realizing the void created by the structureless structure uh, assertion Chavangu went on to fill that void and beat Triple C in submitting the constitution to Jacob Denda and also in submitting the letter approving because stating that he is the one uh, responsible for doing the request and after doing so and that ZANU-PF saw that it could also use that same route to to effect the recourse that is what then happened so responding to a follower who was urging him to never negotiate with Shawangu and his team but rather let them go and form their own party Chamisa said I would rather engage the puppet here than the puppets zanu pf is behind all this embarrassing nonsense they are the engineers of this tom fullery i would rather engage the puppeteer than the puppets zanu pf is behind all this embarrassing nonsense they are the engineers of this tom fullery so what he is actually saying is that he would rather engage zanu pf than engage with chawangu but we what we do not know what, what we also know is that zanu pf does not mind being called what they are doing is embarrassing or what not they will just do what they will so chawangu has since dismissed claims that he lacks authority to recall mps challenging the recourse stating that he is in, indeed a triple c member and the interim secretary general he also argues that those making the accusations failed to provide evidence to support their claims or prove their own membership Chavangu also criticizes Triple C supporters for using the Sanupia puppet label to discredit any party member with diverging views. So what is happening now, ladies and gentlemen, is that this court, this case is now before the courts. But there are three members of Sanupia who have since made a decision concerning this issue. So what is most likely to happen is that these recalls will never be defaced. At first, it was Jacob Modenda who effected the recalls. Then there was Minister Chitando who also recalled councillors on the basis of Chawangu's uh, recall letter. Then there was also the president, Emerson Munangagwa, who also made, who also proclaimed dates for prior elections. Also based on this letter from Chabango. So if Triple C is to win the court case, it would mean that they would have prevailed over Jacob Mdenda, over Minister Chitandu, and over even Emerson Nangagwa, which in most cases is almost a rare. So we just give it time, we just wait and see whether or not Triple C will win the case, which is before the courts and we know that uh, sometimes these the cases like this do not be a judgment they will just say not agent and throw it away but we just wait let's not get ahead of ourselves or even get ahead of the judges who assist with this matter